So I, I got involved with uh, electric vehicles about 14 years ago. A friend of mine was building an electric Porsche for a national competition and uh, brought me in to drive and help develop. And at that time, we didn't have lithium batteries, so the vehicle was interesting. I was very intrigued but uh, it really wasn't ready to compete head-to-head -head with, with gas vehicles. Uh, five years ago, we were able to get some uh, new lithium batteries. We built a bike uh, based on a Yamaha R1 race bike, and it worked, uh, it exceeded our expectations. So uh, since then, we've started uh, developing different bikes, trying to uh, get to the point where we can compete uh, evenly against gas bikes or, or exceed them. So this bike is uh, about the 20th bike in a series of bikes that we've built uh, starting uh, about five years ago. Uh, five years ago, we built the first lithium-powered high-performance sport bike, and we've built a series since then of iterations testing uh, different development. This bike, we ran the Isle of Man in June. We ran the FIM uh, e-Power with the MotoGP in uh, July at Laguna Seca. Uh, we went to Bonneville with the SCTA and set a land speed record of 215.9 miles an hour, and then took the bike to uh, Miller Motorsports and did the, the race there. The uh, horsepower and torque, uh, the horsepower is very, uh, it's actually more than a basic 1,000cc uh, sport bike. It's uh, in full tune, it's right at 200 horse the way it sits. Uh, torque is in the 120 to 130 foot pound range through the power band. Torque on the bike is available full torque from about 100 RPMs to about 8,600 RPMs, and then full horsepower from 8,600 RPMs to about 10. Current range at freeway speeds is about 120 miles. Starting uh, early 2012, we've scheduled a series of races head-to-head -head against uh, uh, gas-powered 600 race bikes. Uh, we think we'll compete, uh, compete well with them. So we, we have some batteries currently that we've received from an R&D company that have almost double the energy per pound that these batteries do. So what we see is a, is a very sharp increase in, uh, in the performance of these bikes, weight reduction of the bikes. So uh, within two to three years, an electric bike should be able to uh, set uh, fast laps on, a, on an AMA weekend. So we're finishing now the street bike fairings and uh, the DOT approval, headlights, turn signals, mirrors. So we're targeting end of first quarter 2012 to have these available as street bikes. What's the expected street price of uh, So the starting street bike for the initial bikes coming out, uh, full uh, race tech suspension, uh, Brembo brakes, uh, forged wheels is in the $28,000 range. I think that uh, most people who are accustomed to riding 600 or 1,000 cc sport bikes would get on this bike either on the track or on the street and find that it compares really favorably with, with what they've been riding. So we've developed the Lightning starter battery as a replacement for lead acid batteries in race bikes. This battery weighs 1.7 pounds and we have a, a video of starting a 440 cubic inch Chrysler with this as a direct replacement for the 60 pound lead acid. So this will drop into 1,000 uh, cc bikes. You can take uh, five, six pounds out of the bike and use it uh, as a direct replacement without any changes on the bike.